everybody, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian, this is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. And today we're starting a series called Homesteading Hacks. Some of them will be helpful, they've been successes for us. Yes! Yes! And some of them, well, maybe they weren't so helpful, they were a failure. Today's episode, though, is a homesteading hack that was a big success. Giving it two thumbs up, I'd give it three or four if I had them, but I only have two, so I'd give them two thumbs up. Now, I don't know about on your homestead, but on our homestead, there's a few items that we just can't seem to get enough of. Two by fours, chicken wire, cattle panels, welded wire fencing, hardware cloth, the list could go on and on. But one of those items on that list would definitely be buckets. Buckets of any size and shape. It just seems like they're so useful. You can use them, to, you fill them up with sand, put them in the back of your truck to use them for traction, uh, carry water, feed, use them in a sprouting system, use them as fermentation vessels, uh, harvest stuff into them, store stuff in them. I mean, just the list goes on and on. You know what I'm talking about. So I found out about this hack a couple of weeks ago and I was so excited because A, I love stuff free or at least cheap. And B, I can't get enough buckets. Well, I probably can, but I love to have extra buckets around. And so I found out that if you go to your bakery, maybe at your supermarket or maybe it's a standalone bakery, many times they will have buckets available either for free or sometimes you may have to pay a little bit for them. So I went down to my supermarket, I went to the bakery and I asked the lady about it. And sure enough, she was like, yeah, we've got buckets, we'll hold them for you. And so yesterday she called me and I went down there and they had two gallon buckets. They had these 15 pound buckets. I don't know how much they hold, but they were kind of like more like a square or a rectangle bucket. And then they had this really super awesome five gallon bucket. And the thing I really love about that is it has this really cool uh, rubber gasket in it. So I'm really thinking that I'll be able to use this five gallon bucket to make some great batches of sauerkraut because it'll seal up real good. I can put an airlock on it and it should work out great. So folks, this homesteading hack, big success, very excited to have these buckets available and uh, didn't cost me a dime. All I had to do was go down and ask for them and they were willing to, to give them to me. So hopefully you find this helpful. Check out your bakery, your supermarket, your deli, maybe some restaurants around. See if they've got some buckets that they're willing to hold on and give them to you. One thing I ask though, stay away from my supermarket. Don't be poaching my buckets. All right guys, catch you later. Thanks for watching.